half yard line for the Mustangs. Pierce in the pistol. He's going to throw the fade pattern to deep in the end zone. And did he get it? What do we got? No call yet. Yeah, no call. Touchdown. Touchdown. Pierce to Swartz on the fade pattern from the two and a half yard line. So the Mustangs showing all those scouts from the remainder of the Big Ten that are here looking at them this evening, a little wrinkle from two and a half yards out. Well, you, uh, you got to use those plays and uh, throw them off balance. Going for two now, pitch out to Boyle, and he's going to be hit in the backfield and not get in. So the Mustangs unsuccessful on the extra point, but the Mustangs quickly answer the Red Raider touchdown, a four-play drive after the long return Puts the Mustangs back on the board, now leading 25 to six, 403 to go here in the second. And we'll step aside here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. With offices in Uniontown and Chalk Hill, Representative Mahoney is dedicated to providing the best leadership and quality representation to his constituents. He can be reached at 66A Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown, 724-438-6100, and in Chalk Hill at 2925 National Pike, 724-437-2521. Good luck to all of the area teams from State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. Cameron Leitz uh, once again will kick off for the Mustangs. Mustangs with four touchdowns here in the first half. Red Raiders putting one up at the 4.55 mark. So Leeds are getting a lot of work on that kickoff team. I thought he might. Tonight, Christian Jones so far, 13 carries for 96 yards. He's almost hit the century mark. Pierce has four carries for 48 and seven freight for 71 in the air. Here's the kick, a line drive. It's going to be caught by Forsyth at about the 15-yard line. Coming up the middle, and he's going to be hit hard there. Nice tackle by Eisler. Eisler just met him chest to chest. Brandon Eisler on the tackle. And the Red Raiders will have the ball at the 28 yard line, first and 10. For Uniontown, Gary, Howard has six carries for 17 yards. Mosley, seven carries for four yards and two for three for 38 yards. Officials set the ball at the 27, first and 10. Coming in tonight, tonight, Gary Pierce with 697 yards in the air, seven touchdowns and three interceptions. Let's see if the Mustangs can stay on side. Tight end right, twin receivers left for Mosley. He's going to use that hard count until the Mustangs stay on side. And now it's a Balls ball on the, the, on the ground. Just ran away from it, didn't have it. Recovered by Uniontown. Covered Mark by Howard. Fike. I think 74, Mark Fike, maybe Howard on there too, but not what the Red Raiders wanted on first down. Looked like they were going to try to put the ball in the air, maybe a screen up the middle, but got to hold on to the it. snap just wasn't to his liking. Now we have twin receivers to both sides. Mosley takes a snap and he's going to fake the handoff. Now he's taking himself around the left side. To be met by the Mustangs there at about the 25 yard line. Let's see who gets off There's the bottom of that pal. Petrish is one. As well as number 59, Cody, Cody Christopher. Christopher. And as we said, number 45, Petrus. Gain of about two or three on the play. Third down and 12. Tonight, in, in, before tonight, Livingston had 483 yards, six touchdowns. Jones had 265 yards and three touchdowns. So 
Very prolific scoring, and they spread it out. Big play for the Red Raiders to try to keep things going here late in the second quarter. Mosley looking, looking. Now he's under pressure. He's going to tuck it and run. Up the middle, and he's going to be met again there by Petrus. He's just having a heck of a first half. So Mosley's going to pick up about six, but it's going to be fourth down, and I think the Mustangs are going to call timeout at 2.04 to go. Petrus must have ten tackles so far. The He's first really half. active on that defensive side. A good timeout here by the Mustangs. With 2.04 to go, try to get that last possession before the end of the first half. So Coach Just is doing just that. You may see the Mustangs go for the, the uh, block punt here in, deep into uh, Red Raider territory. And even if they don't get the block punt, they'll still be in decent field, field position if Boyle can make the catch, whether it be a fair catch or get some kind of a return. We well, saw the difference it made. They only had to go 22 yards or 24 yards. And going back to Petrish, Petrish making all those tackles means that the defensive line's doing a good job too. Absolutely, occupying all of the Red Raider offensive linemen. Mustangs have 10 up on the line, two blockers on the outside. Here's the and there's going to be a big rush, and there is no way that he could get that ball off. Ball's there's a the fumble, ground. but it's going to be called down. down. So back there for the punt was Fry, and he had no chance. Let's see who was back there. That was Davis back there punting for the Red Raiders, and the pressure was being applied by Eisler. And, Ed, and he just knew he couldn't get it off, so he tried to tuck it and run, but the Mustangs corralled him at the 22-yard line. And now with just two minutes, another short field for the Mustangs. Looking deep, Pierce, he's going to be hit, but squeezes away. How did, How he, did get he get out? out of there? Now wide open and can't make the catch as Boyle. houdini act by Jimmy <laughs> Pierce. Looked like he was surrounded by five Red Raiders and just squeezed through the middle of them. Stepped out to the left, had Boyle open, but just could not put it on his numbers for the catch. So clock will stop at 152, second down 10. You don't get a chance to square yourself up to make that pass. Boyle was wide open, but. Up the middle, now Jones just takes it inside the 10. Tackled low that time by number 11. Got to pick up that number 11 for Uniontown. I think that's Dodson, but I could be wrong. I don't have an 11 for Uniontown. Now Jones again up the middle, and he's going to be drugged down after a short gain this time. First and goal from the 10, and he gains about two, maybe three. Looks like Amadeus Marinucci made that stop. Give him three on the play, second, second down and eight. Now the reverse to Boyle, nobody out there. Needs one block from Livingston. He'll take it in for the Mustang touchdown. That play was set up beautifully by Coach Just. Two times up the middle to Jones. Fake that play again to Jones and just the end around to Boyle. Livingston just squares up against his defender. No chance for anyone to make the play out there on the right side. Mustangs take it in again at the minute 16 mark of the second. Leads on for the kick, and it's up and good. So once again, the Mustangs hit the scoreboard, making the score now. Mustangs 32, Uniontown 6. Minute 16 to go here in the second. We'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial advisors of Uniontown, would like to wish the Laurel Hines Mustangs football team and their coaches to have a successful season this year. Go Mustangs! Litsa, Cameron Litsa gets his, uh, his workout six, I think his sixth kickoff of the first half. Mustangs four, with, five. I'm make that five, five touchdowns. Mustangs received the opening kickoff and took it the length of the field for the, the first score of the game. 
Lietza now with the run up again, and he's going to hit it deep this time. I think that's Howard on the catch. Up to the left side, right side, and he's going to be brought down. No, that's number 11. Yeah, like we, we said, we don't have it. I think that's Dotson. We're going to call it. No, Dotson's out there, number one. We're going to have to see if we can pick up who that number 11 is for Uniontown so we can give him some credit. That was a nice run. First and 10 from the 33, minute 11 to go here in the first half. Homecoming night, congratulations to Keisha McDowell, homecoming queen for the Mustangs. Dave Davis. We've, we're told now from the uh, other side of the press box that uh, number 11 is Dave Davis. There's this Howard. is Howard now. Mustangs just trying to run the clock out. Malachi Howard for a, a nice nine yard gain. Maybe 10, it's close to a first He's down. Hurt. He's down. And that's shaking up a little. No, he's Malachi gets up. up slowly. He's going to go out for a one play. First and 10 for the Red Raiders. Under a minute on a running clock. Mosley in the shotgun. Mustangs almost jump again. Inside handoff, and it's going to be a five-yard penalty, flag, yard, flag thrown in. No, we did get an update, Gary. Number 11 is Odin. Lorenzo Odin on that run. Lorenzo on the right Odin, side. there we go. Thank you to our, our Odin statics. on the carry, but now we're going to be pushing that back with a holding call against the Red Raiders. That was at the end of that play, too. Odin's a 5'7", 165-pound senior, so give him some credit. Kickoff return, a couple nice runs. Nice run on that play, but nullified by the holding call. Howard back into the game as Mosley sprints in with the call with 22 seconds to go. This could be the last play of the half. Were you 165 when you played high school football, Absolutely Gary? not. <laughs> with your pads on? Could be a delay two seconds ago, but Mosley back. He's going to be tracked down. Jacob Big play Swartz. by Swartz. Takes it all the way back That'll to the 28-yard line, and that's going to do it for the first half of action with the score, Laurel Highlands 32, Uniontown 6. We'll be back with halftime statistics and other activities here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Back here at Mustang Field, halftime activities enjoying the Red Raider marching band to be followed by the Laurel Highlands marching band. Let's take a quick look at our scoring recap in the first quarter at the 8.54 mark. A 14-yard pass from Jimmy Pierce to Livingston uh, started the scoring off the uh, on a button hook at about the five-yard line. Took it in from the five, 14-yard pass and catch. Extra point was missed. It was six to nothing at that point. At the 336 mark, a six-yard Pierce run around the right side after a fake to Christian Jones up the middle. Beautiful ball handling as usual by Jimmy Pierce. The kick was no good, and it was 12 to nothing at that point. Mustangs added another one at the 29-second mark of the first quarter. Pierce, a 15-yard run. Kick by Lietza was good, making it 19 to nothing Mustangs at that time. Starting the second quarter, the Red Raiders, the beneficiary of five offside penalties by the Mustangs, 30 yards in total penalties by the Mustangs, culminated in a Mosley three-yard keeper, pushing it in for the Red Raider touchdown. The kick at that point was no good, and it was Laurel Highlands 19, Uniontown 6. Quickly thereafter, after a long run back by Eisler, Taking the ball deep into Mustang, into Uniontown territory. At the 403 mark, Pierce to Swartz on the fade pattern in the left corner of the end zone. Two and a half yards on the pass and catch. The try for two was no good. Laurel Highlands 25, Uniontown 6. On the uh, next possession, Uniontown went three and out, and the Mustangs harassed the punter for Uniontown, causing a no kick and a tackle 
inside Uniontown territory. And just four plays later at the 116 mark of the second quarter, Lucas Boyle went in from eight yards out on the wing back around. The kick this time by Cameron Lietza was good. That's our halftime score, Laurel Highlands 32, Uniontown 6. Here's Rick Frank with the halftime statistics. Thank you very much, Gary. For Uniontown, Phil Mosley was two for three in the air for 39 yards. He, he, uh, running, he had 11 carries for negative three yards. Also running for the Red Raiders, Gibson had one carry for three yards, and Howard had seven carries for 27 yards. Forsyth had one reception for nine yards, and Freeman had one reception for 39 yards. Total running for the Red Raiders, 27 yards on the ground. Passing is 39 for a total of 66 total yards. For the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, Jimmy Pierce was seven for nine for 71 yards. He had four carries for 48 yards. Also, Jones had 15 carries for a, a buck 11. Lucas Boyle had three carries for 15 yards. And Sloboda had one carry for eight yards. I'm sorry, Jimmy Pierce had two rushing touchdowns, two passing touchdowns, and Boyle had one rushing touchdown. Receiving, Livingston had five catches for 55 yards. Sloboda had one catch for 14 yards. And Swartz had one catch for two yards. On the ground, the Mustangs had 182 yards, passing 71 yards for 253 yards, Gary. So they all gained by almost two, 200 yards, four times the yardage, uh, four times the offense. And uh, Coach Just has to be somewhat satisfied with the Mustangs' performance here in the first half. The only negative being the unnecessary penalties that uh, pretty much gave the Uniontown Red Raiders their momentum on their scoring drive. So the Mustangs putting together a pretty good showing here on offense, pretty, uh, having not having to punt the ball in the whole first half. And that has led to the 32 to six halftime lead. So the Mustang band is now entertaining the huge crowd here at Mustang Field. Homecoming night, festivities, all over the place. We're going to be back with second half action here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Central Cab Coach USA has been providing the highest quality motor coach charter and tour service to our community for over 39 years. Under the leadership of Dave Mansbury, President and General Manager, our experienced and professional drivers log over 3 million miles per year in our fleet of 57 modern motor coaches. Each coach offers plush interior with reclining seats, DVD players, and are all air conditioned and restroom equipped. Central Cab is proud of their excellent safety record and has been awarded the highest rating from the United States military and federal Department of Transportation. Central Cab Company is the exclusive transportation provider.